In this video, we will guide you through a two-way thermal coupling between Rocky and Mechanical, using system coupling. Starting with the setup on Rocky. Make sure you are importing a system coupling wall. You may also convert an already existing wall on the context menu. Then carry on with a normal DEM and or SPH setup. To wrap up, click on Write System Coupling File to create a system coupling participant file that will be used later on. Now let's get into the ANSYS mechanical setup by importing the same geometry used previously. Set the initial temperature and the system coupling region using the transient thermal option. This is a standard setup on the ANSYS mechanical side. Make sure that the time and time step adopted in this phase are equal for both mechanical and rocky. And once again, export the file by clicking on Write System Coupling File. The next step is the system coupling setup. Start by importing the .scp files from rocky and mechanical in the Add Participant dialog window. Fill in the coupling interfaces also for both software. Add a data transfer. Set the end time and time step size, which must be equal to the ones used for Rocky and Mechanical. and start the solve process on system coupling where you also get convergence charts. After solving your simulation, the post-processing phase is carried out using Insight. Drag the desired parameter, such as heat flow and temperature, to the geometry to see its results. You may also open Rocky to use its post-processing capabilities and analyze the temperature of the system coupling wall and DEM and or SPH. To learn more, access ANSYS Rocky's manuals and the ANSYS Rocky innovation space.